Hello and welcome back to the Audacious Altmer. So, last time we had a very important vote, and well, there was one winner that came out above all else, Cat. We got pretty much 99% for Cat, 1% for Dog, and 0% for Rabbit, so I think that Cat probably won. So, our wife, uh, we are going to... Ooh, we can induct her into the cult again, we can try again. Cool. Um, I'm going to give her the artifact of the Rabbit. There we go, she likes us for it, and here is your lovely new rabbit. So we can now see that she has a rabbit. He also has elven armor and a boot. That's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's induct her into our cult. Oh, she's currently considering the offer from us. You're confined to your bed, your body raked with aches and chills, you're contracted the flu. I'm gonna say I'm not overly worried about it. How ill are we? Just a normal illness, okay. Oh! Interesting. Bailey, um, the person who we been, the person who killed our previous wife, has uh, actually got some power, which is fantastic. Because, well, apart from the fact she gained all this stuff for herself, oh my god, she gained so much. It gives us an opportunity to potentially get her. So, now, oh yes, uh, this is my wife. Anyway, and now that she is in power, we have a lot. Yeah, we have people who will join us in plots to do stuff against her. That's fantastic. That is a good place to be. Right. Dear husband, greetings, salutations, I accept your gracious gift. What a splendid object. Yes, I thought you would like it. Now, now that you've accepted my rabbit, you'd obviously like to join my cull, right? You know, it's the obvious thing. Right, so let's see how this plot goes. Uh, people are getting suspicious of my powers. My court physician has come to me and has offered me treatments for my illness. Um, let's see, what's her skill like? Um, yeah, let's have a scroll of cure disease. Ulamir stood before you and unfurled a scroll of in mystic intent, uh, covered in mystic incantations. She read aloud from it and cast a spell on you. Immediately, you start feeling quite well and stood up. Thank you for the remedy. Ah, you see, a scroll of cure disease never fails, said Ulamir with a smile. Well, usually. Right, um, we're cured. That was easy enough, I didn't really want to open this page. Right, I arranged for one of my spies to leave the Tome of uh, the Accord's Madness around. So what we're going to do, hmm, let's see, how do we sway her to our way of thinking? That's acrobatics. She's an agent. Hmm. I, I don't really know. He's humble, trusting, brave. He's got a lot of traits. I'm not really sure how we go for this. Um, how about ethics and philosophy? I'm not feeling very strong about it, but okay. My spies have brought me some outstanding news. Apparently, Kin Lady uh, Minatilli. Uh, is that how it is? Minan. Tia Lee, yeah. Um, reads the court records madness every night and now seems to worship Shia Gorath. Oh yeah, she can join us. That seems good. Right. I covered my face before mass and once at the temple I sat down next to Minatilli. Uh, at the end of the service I grabbed her hand and drew the holy symbol of Shia Gorath on my finger in her palm. Afterwards she pretended like nothing happened and I left the temple. My quest unsuccessful. Oh, she didn't join us but she has converted. Interesting. Request council support. Sure. Uh, invite to plot. No. Anybody in my plot? We got 109%. That means the plot can actually fire. Uh, I'm going to invite this guy. And then that will get us just a little bit over 100. Keep it kind of secure. Seems good. Right. Uh, now we do have an army here. Can we attack these guys? Yes. Oh. Well, I'll head over there and attack those guys then. I kind of thought the answer would be no. My wife, Minatelli, tells me that she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Are we paranoid? We're not paranoid, so this could be that she's cheating on us. That's possible. I've thought it over and I cannot be the wife of my... Uh, oh, wait, sorry. I cannot be the father of my wife, Minatelli's baby. I also can't be the wife of my um, wife, Minatelli's baby, either. Uh, as it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. You know what? I actually didn't even realize she was an adult, but no, I'll trust her because uh, I actually want to have um, an heir. 
So, player our war. Attack in. Um, requisition fishing ships. Oh, okay. And that then allows us to get more boats, I guess. It's kind of weird. I like it. Much work, dedication, and prayer. The community of Karn View has grown um, far larger than it was. Believers in great numbers share joy and hardships while ensuring their faith stays hidden from the wider world. Okay, well, that's good. We got a secret Shiagorath society there. And we've now taken this one as well. Oh, we need to uh, clear up the land that we hold. We hold far too much. Eldara. Um, I'm also going to do a little bit of repairing ground here. And I guess I need to give away some land. Now, do we have anybody in our cult yet? Uh, we only have a couple. I wonder whether it's a good idea to invite people here, make uh, get them into our cult, and then give them land. That seems like the best way we could possibly go about this. Who is this guy? Is he a prisoner? For 11 years? What? Oh, he, he's a uh, Heartland or Wild Elf. Can I recruit him? I can recruit him, so... I guess what I actually want to do is invoke... Yeah, I'm going to recruit him. And then start invoking favor. Yeah. See how that goes. Uh, yes, we're starting a conversion. So, let's see. How are we going to convert this Heartland Elf? He's ambitious. He's temperate, stubborn, brave. I don't know. Well, are we going to tug at his heartstrings, maybe? Let's maybe try and tug at his heartstrings, I guess. Yeah, he is just, isn't he? Yeah. See how that goes. He was visibly moved. Fantastic. Now, we want to induct him. Okay, legendary warrior, I think. Or fair and mighty ruler. Oh, fair and mighty ruler, definitely. He's ambitious. He has now joined our cult, and I will get him into my society. Into my religious cult. And another champion joins our ranks. Fantastic. I will grant him the new land we just got of Eldara. Good. Right. Uh, I suppose we can start converting the next people. How about this one? He already has sympathy. So, yeah, let's uh, induct him. Right, how are we going to induct him? What are we going to go for? He's charitable, ambitious, temperate, and kind. Let's go for ethics and philosophy. It did not work. Okay. Wait, this isn't my land. Why am I... Why, why would I send my men in to fight for that? Right, how much uh, magic do we have? Not a lot. Okay. Uh, well, that guy's not obviously going to be converted. How about the next one on our list? He already has sympathy. Uh, let's induct him. Okay. Importance of community, I think. Because he's all about... He's justice. He's trusting. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my liege likes me more. That's good. Valley uh, received a beautiful new ABCs for Barbarian. Oh, I like it. Uh, join my cult, please. And it worked. Fantastic. We have a new member of our cult. And I will give away some land. Um, I think what we want to give away. We want to give away that one. Uh, whatever that one actually is. Lengard. Okay. Yeah, I'll give that one away. It's fine. All going well. So, next one. is going to be this guy. Fine, we will... Uh, it's going to be difficult because he's zealous. But we'll see what we can do here. Invoke sympathy. Uh, it looks like he's just, so we'll go for the leave the loved ones behind again. That worked. Okay, he's no longer zealous. We'll now induct him. Right. Uh, I'm using the powers too freely, apparently, but that's fine. Uh, fair and mighty. I mean, brave and just. Yeah. Oh, we have a new heir. Okay, I don't like the name because I have no idea how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to randomize it a few times. Um, Thaley. I, I think we can go with that one. Thaley. On the Lord birth, uh, birth sign. So it's diplomacy and stewardship. Young and pure. Okay. 
Um, let's give her humility, kind, content, trusting, humble. I think actually thrift maybe is better. Yeah, I think we'll go with thrift. That's fine. Falconer expects me as a new hunting bird has arrived and waits my inspection. Ooh, okay, I need to go hunting right now, obviously. He did not read the holy text. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess he's not getting land. Next one, Fearsar. What's that one? Gambler. Ooh, okay. Well, he is zealous again. Let's invoke our sympathies. Um, let's go for loved ones. He's kind. That worked. Okay. Now let's induct him. And what are we going for here? Let's see, he's vain, kind, lustful. If he's vain, then maybe... I don't know. Maybe fair and mighty, but I don't know. None of these really fit. I think I'll go for a fair and mighty ruler. That worked. Okay. We're on Ductum. And he joined our cult. Fantastic. Uh, you can have a new bit of land. How about you have... The Cliff Watch or Lilwood? We have Lilwood. Okay, there you go. Have that one. Right, do we have a new space for a commander? That's fine. New commander can be uh, my wife. That's fine. Right, get rid of the invite to plots. We're not interested. Right. Uh, next bit of land. We still have three more bits of land to give away before we're good. I think we probably want to keep the ones that are the, uh, in the... Um, in the kinhold of Rosefields, like Duskwood, Veselon, and Rosefield, so the rest of them can go. Seems alright. Um, next one. We give land to you? We can. Are you married? No. In which case, that's fine. Um, I will induct you into the cult. Wait, she already... Oh, she already has sympathy, yeah. Okay, induct into cult. Uh, she's gregarious. Let's go with community. It worked. He has joined us. Oh, has he joined us, joined us? My reputation is ruined. Norlin, let everyone know about my plot to kill Kin Lady Valley of Dusk after a drunken stupor at the local tavern. I should never have included that drunken blabbermouth in the plot this delicate. Okay. Another champion of Sheer Gorath joins our ranks. You can have a uh, Deer Hollow. Yeah, that's fine. Right, uh, next one down. Sarador, our court mage. Okay, uh, we'll induct him straight away. Again, sympathy. I guess somebody's been going around invoking sympathy. Or maybe it was when we did the prepared ground that gave everyone sympathy. I don't know. He's slothful, deceitful, temperate, and absent-minded. Uh, uh, ethics and philosophy? It worked, okay. I can't explain to you why, and then he joined our ranks. Fantastic, we're gonna grant him. Um, Silverwood, yeah, it's fine. And now we have one more to invite in. Is it uh, Fanglimar? I think it is. He is a Bosmer, but that's okay. Uh, we can't induct him. I must already have tried, or, oh wait, invoke sympathy? Um. Yeah, okay. Guess somebody else has already tried that one. So it's actually going to be Orlin, who is married to another one of my courtiers. That's fine. Um, let's invoke some sympathy here. Okay. Um, ruthless, arbitrary. Let's use her. The fact she likes us. Uh. Aurelien only scoffed at my story and haughtily claimed that the family, as a bunch of filthy heathens, only had themselves to blame. Then she turned to the man on our other side and proceeded to ignore me for the rest of the evening. Alright then. Well, that's just not on, but anyway. Lemire, a divine prosecutor. Well, definitely. We got to do some... Uh... Nope, somebody's already tried. I think that was probably us. That's fine. Um... Ul Amel? Ur 
Elur Talmo? Yeah, something like that. Uh, induct him into our cult. See. Ooh. Uh, we're getting a community in Eldara. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Patient, paranoid, lustful, cynical. Ethics and philosophy. Yeah, it worked. Apparently that's just the generic works one. He did not join my cult though. So I cannot put him in charge. So the last one is Alkaline. Uh, let's uh, induct you. Let's see. Lustness, kind, proud... Off. Fair and mighty ruler? Did not work. Well, actually, I guess it is going to you because you're the uh, closest to it, basically. Right, unless I invite someone else to my court. Uh, not Duskwood. Here in view, right? Yeah. Perfect. So we've now given away all that land, which means we now no longer have a large penalty on the money that we're collecting, which is good. Right. So now we should start making money more and have more troops. Curse that damn divine prosecutor. Palandil. Arc. Rekalil. He and his posse of warriors stormed into my chambers and cast me in chains, accusing me of a posse. Now, High King Mankar the monster has decided I am to rot away in his dungeon. I will be free. Then you'll all pay. Oh no. We're... Oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. You're quietly contemplating your fate when suddenly your jailer enters and drags you from your cell. Do not worry. He assures you with a less than reassuring smile. You will not meet the headman's axe today. The merciful kinlord has decided that the rack will suffice. M -m merciful Okay. Well, he's torturing us. Let's see, are we going to be stressed, craven, or a lunatic? Stressed. Well, that seems fair. Seems fair. He did let us go, though, which is quite nice. Yeah. Worrying, but nice. Large groups of bandits are preying on the roads and paths of Rosefield. Well, okay, fighters, go deal with them. Thanks to Kuzbu's uh, heroic efforts, the highway robbers are gone. Cost us 50 gold. Not good. We're making a high king like us more. Though he did imprison us and torture us, so I'm not entirely sure I'm okay with that. In fact, you know what? You're on the list, Mankar. You're on the list. Wait. Oh, my plot to kill Veily just disappeared when I get got discovered? Oh, I, I forgot that happened. Uh, wait, does nobody want to join the plot anymore? No. They all quite like her. Well, that's not really on, but okay. Not really a lot I can do about it. Well, people were wanting me to use other magics that we have, and we have a lot of magic now. I might see what magic I can do against her. I can just try and assassinate her? Or does that mean that I'm paying? I think that means I'm paying to assassinate her. Uh, open spellbook. Oh, let's see what I can do here. Remove curse. No, no, no. Add curse, probably. Transmute. Raising my monthly income. Interesting, I like that. Uh, then fear, drain health, drain fertility, drain favor fools, go reduce our target's income, lowering other people's opinions of me. I assume that means my target. Yeah. Manipulate emotions, obscure information. There's all sorts of things here. Decrease vassal opinion? Yeah. Or polymorph them into a chicken. Tactics of Shiagorath. Command random. There's so many. Um, there are so many. I think I'm going to go for... Polymorph into chicken? Yes. A few days as a chicken won't hurt my target. Right. We've definitely turned her into a chicken. Yep. Luck, luck. Uh, so hopefully that means people will be willing to join my plot against her. A few will, yeah. They don't really like their new chicken liege. Perfect. 
Right, don't see how it could fail. Also, um, little spell boom. There we are. Dan Dre was introduced by a mutual friend. We talked for quite a while. We had our differences and a few arguments. Then we found common safe ground. I began to join myself. Dan Dre seems like a decent person. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's be friends. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, what was that trait he had on? Follower of Sotha Sil. Seek to learn. When you're prepared, find a master. I'll be interested to hear your conclusions. Hmm. Okay, interesting. We attack for this one. We can indeed, so I might as well, where's my army gone? Move them up here and attack. Invite to plot. Yes, definitely. Uh, Eldara is now a secret community. My co-conspirator, Baron Estormo, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that you it will soon dig its fangs into Kinlady Valley. Okay. Oh. Success, the snake performed its duty with a plum and plumped, uh, and pumped uh, Lady, uh, in Lady Valley full of its deadly venom. It slipped away into the night and the guards are now too busy continuing with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for those responsible. She died as she lived. As a chicken. Right, well I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.